How much do wedding celebrants earn? Good question and certainly one you should think about if you are considering training to be a wedding celebrant. In this short video, I'm going to look at a number of factors which you probably needed to know the answers to. So let's first of all talk about what is a wedding celebrant. Uh, it is not the registrar, that is somebody who does the legal part. And as we speak, the legalities are that the registrar still has to do the administrative part of the wedding before us as wedding celebrants can write and deliver the personalised uh, ceremony for the couple. So we're not registrars, we are not priests or vicars, we're very separate to that. In some ways we fill that gap between the legal part and the religious part. So for those people who perhaps aren't religious, perhaps they're secular, perhaps they're spiritual, perhaps they're coming from different religions or different places in their thoughts and they want to have a ceremony written for them, so it reflects them as the, as the couple that they are. That's where the wedding celebrant comes in. That is what we do. We meet our couples, we find out what their vision is for their wedding, we write it and we deliver it um, to make it a magical day. That's what it is. Um, we now know the, legal, the legalities. Also, we know that there is a lot of pressure on the government to change this law so that it would enable the civil celebrant, the independent celebrant, to hold the licence rather than the registrar or the venue. And that way, when that happens, we can very definitely do a moonlight beach wedding, do um, a wedding in a zoo, do a wedding in a garden, and we can do the legal part as well. Now, there is a caveat to that recommendations that have gone through, which is that firstly, you do need to be professionally trained. Hello, here we are. And secondly, you should hold an accredited qualification, which the, we are um, a licensed centre to deliver that qualification. And whether you go for the certificate or the platinum double diploma, they're both accredited by NOCN. So that's why you should definitely train to be a wedding celebrant. But there's quite a few training companies out there. So how on earth do you choose? It's a minefield. And I talk to people every day about this. And I think it's just sort of finding that right fit for you. Finding the one that feels right, the one that resonates with your ethos. Do you share our values? Also, look at what the price includes. So you'll find our prices on the website. There's a price for the certificate and a price for the platinum double diploma. That price, whatever which one you choose, it includes your it includes your accommodation, it includes your food and your teas and your coffees. It includes the resources for your training, the actual training itself. The qualification is included and that includes video lectures, study notes, and 12 months or 18 months, depending on the qualification of personal tutor time. So you've got somebody for a whole 12 months to guide you through the qualification or 18 months. That's all included, but I haven't finished. There's also 12 months free membership. And with that membership comes CPD, continual professional development, um, insurance for public liability, insurance for professional indemnity and all the benefits of becoming a member which you'll also find in our, on our website on the membership page. So although we may be one of the dearer ones you look at, everything is there. There's no hidden costs. The only extra costs you'll have are after you set up your business and you might want to pay for a website to be designed, but that would go with it, with any business really. So although it might seem a lot to start with, it isn't. It isn't a lot really, not when you're setting up a whole new business and a whole new career for yourself. And the training is absolutely brilliant. The other reason you should come and train with us is High Trend House. High Trend House is an amazing place to train in any, anything. It's set in the Yorkshire, I never remember if it's Moors or Dales, I think it's Moors, right by Malham Tarn. And it is an, an inclusive and all in, what's the word, immersive experience. You eat and drink and think celebrants, so you don't have to put the wash load on, you don't have to sit in front of a screen. It's really interactive and fun. So. That is why you should choose us if you are going to be a wedding celebrant. How much can you charge to be a wedding celebrant? To your couples, I mean now. This will help you decide if you how quickly you could recoup the money. 
Now it does depend if you, of course, if you get a wedding every weekend, you're doing fabulously well. And perhaps that might be a little unrealistic in your first year because it takes a little while to establish yourself with venues and with couples and, and you know, your website getting known, etc. However, if you think about every wedding averaging around £700, some might be 650 some might be 800 and some of the bigger ones might even be up to a thousand pounds which you know asking a lot of the celebrant you can earn quite good money quite quickly and easily cover the cost of your course if you're going to be holistic and do lots of different types of ceremonies you could also be doing funerals and namings and vow renewals and adoption ceremonies and whatever kind of ceremony you like as well as the weddings it's quite easy to recoup that money once you've got going and you've established yourself. So I hope that answers your question. Um, you found out how much it would cost. It's all on our website. You know what it includes. You know what you can earn. I hope to see you soon. Come and join us.